Uh, Jake Sanderson appears to be the future in Ottawa, but what are we expecting from him from a fantasy, fantasy ceiling perspective? Is he a 40 to 50 point guy? What would make him the most valuable? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. So I believe that a ceiling for Jake Sanderson and keeping in mind that offense is up, I think it's going to be 50 or 60 points. 50 or 60 points in the year 2004 would have made you the best offense, offensive defenseman in the game. But 50 or 60 points right now might make you, you know, top 15 or 20 as, as an offensive defenseman. Uh, to me, it's because Jake Sanderson is so well-rounded. I wouldn't say his natural gifts are absolutely elite offensively, but he's just so good at everything. And he's certainly not a slouch offensively. He can move the puck. He's going to hit 30 points as a rookie. So I do think eventually he's going to be locked in long-term to a top pair role. He's going to play a ton of minutes. And because of all that ice time, it's going to help his volume. He's already, even as a rookie, a huge asset asset in blocking shots. So to me, just because he's going to be a do-everything defenseman who has a lot of responsibility defensively as well, I'm going to see his peak as something like 10 goals, 55 points, 175 blocks. And that profile reminds me a little bit of Alex Pietrangelo. So someone who is a good puck mover, can put the puck in the net, but also can function as a shutdown guy, play a ton of minutes, also blocks a ton of shots. So that's what I'm looking at as your long-term comparable, Alex Pietrangelo. 